This is a four hour long Q&A stream that has over 43 individual questions from viewers that I need to turn into TikToks. But I have no time to edit them and that means I will never get more viewers on this content. If only there was a tool where I could drag my clip in, have it auto transcribed, automatically cut out all the pauses, the ums and ahs, automatically reframe it, automatically add subtitles and even automatically translate my voice and those subtitles to any other language. Wait, this exists and it's called Podcast Editor. Podcast Editor is what's called a text-based editor. These are becoming more and more common in recent years because they are so fast, so simple, and most importantly, so accessible to new creators. It takes a long time to learn to edit after all, but what Podcast Editor does is transcribes your entire clip, then you highlight a segment, click delete, and just it makes the edit to the video for you. Don't worry, this isn't some big download either. You don't need a beast of a computer. This is a browser-based editing tool, which means you can do all of this from a Chrome tab. I want to make two things very clear before I show you how powerful tools like Podcast Editor are. First, a tool like this won't replace learning to edit. It won't be as powerful as learning how to animate, add effects, sound design, you name it, all those things that professional editors do. Things you're seeing me do in this video right now. But what it can do is take podcasts, short clips, video essays, really wordy content essentially, and help new creators edit add subtitles, images, graphics, sounds, and convert sections for uploading on TikTok, for example, at an incredible speed. Second, Streamlabs did sponsor this video. However, all the opinions in it are my own. You guys know I don't do sponsored content unless I feel like there is something valuable in it for you guys and specifically for new creators. I think the best way to show you how powerful this is, is to just show you. For some context, I used to do a stream called the Stream Scheme Podcast, and every few weeks I'd do Q&A episodes. Now, after every episode, I would clip all the different questions so that others could go watch them back specifically and because I wanted to turn them into simple TikToks. But I stopped doing that podcast and never made those TikToks because as I said earlier, I just didn't have the time. So as soon as Streamlabs sent me this tool, that was my very first thought, turning dozens of highlights from that stream into content for TikTok. So I went straight to my video producer, downloaded a dozen questions and uploaded my very first clip. As you can see, it transcribes my voice instantly. And as I play it back, you can also see it over here on the left. It shows you which words are being said when. Now this clip has a lot of buildup that isn't needed. I thank someone for resubscribing, I read a message that is someone saying they love the concept, and I want all of that gone because it doesn't matter to the viewer. So I just highlight it and click delete. And now if I play back you can see it starts at the new start of the sentence. It doesn't flow though because there are all these pauses. So instead I'll open my quick actions and click remove pauses. I'll set this to one because I don't want any pausing at all. I want them to just flow perfectly. In the same section I can also remove filler words like ums and ahs, but you know, I don't use those very often. I'm a bit of a pro, so I didn't have to use that this time. With those two added, playing it back, as you can see, it is so much smoother. But the clip still goes on for far too long because I thank another subscriber at the end and just kind of ramble. So let's highlight that, delete, and it's gone. Now, I was editing this in landscape because this is originally designed for podcasts and YouTube videos, but I want to use it for TikTok. So I go to the button in the top right, switch to portrait, resize, or if I wanted, I click fill canvas, and it's, well, vertical. Now, I want to add subtitles because every TikTok TikTok, especially podcast highlight TikToks, need subtitles. So I go to subtitles, turn on, and set custom subtitle length. This is important because personally, I have a rule and a standardized amount of no more than 12 to 14 characters per subtitles on screen. I resize it, change the font to my preferred one, and make it bold. And if we play this back now, this has taken a 58 second long clip down to a tight, subtitled 21 second TikTok. It took me longer to download this clip off of Twitch than it did to edit it. Do you see how powerful this could be for you? Now I'm doing short clips here, but as you can tell by the name, Podcast Editor, this can be used for much larger podcast editing as well. So keep that in mind. If I wanted to, I could add images, videos, text, you name it with the add elements button. On another clip, I added this Vegemite logo and a fade so it came up and down when I needed it to. But since this TikTok has a cold open with no context, I figure adding some simple text won't hurt to give context. It only takes me a few seconds to do this. And now that it's done, I can click export and download it ready for TikTok. This obviously isn't a fancy edit. If you compare this to one of my gameplay TikToks, you can see those are far more intense with effects, animations, and just so much more. But I spent hours doing that, and it's for a different audience. If we look at the podcast niche on TikTok, the edits are simple. The host or hosts and some subtitles, that's it. Because the goal is to focus on the best moments not flashy effects. It took me about an hour to upload my other clips that I downloaded and convert those over the same way. But before I knew it, I had dozens of TikToks ready to release daily for the next month. 30 days of simple TikTok content, 
for an hour of editing is immense. It is amazing. Eh, and then I got a little carried away and clicked the translate button and realized it could translate my subtitles to any language and even dub the voiceover in that language. So I could have an entire second channel that is all the same stream tips, but in Spanish which gave me an idea to upload one of my fully edited and finished stream scheme videos, transcribe it, translate it, download the subtitles, and then upload those subtitles to YouTube so that my YouTube video had closed caption subtitles in English and now in Spanish, which is my second largest audience. I don't know if that's the intended use, but I felt really smart doing this. So Podcast Editor has both a free and a paid version. You can use it to edit one hour of content per month for free. So for me, that means I could cut 60 to 100 of these Q&A clips that I showed you earlier because those are all about 45 seconds long max. And then on the free version, the max length of clip you can upload is an hour, which again, doesn't affect me when I'm doing this. That said, because these were all done on the free version, they would have a small watermark and some features aren't available, such as the translation tool that I showed you. But let's be real, I doubt you need to translate your clips. But if you do want to, well, the paid version also unlocks 40 hours of footage per month and you can edit clips up to two hours long instead of the hour that you get from the free version. That said, there are a few things I would love to see the tool get in future updates. The first is that you can't do two different camera angles in one edit. For example, my episode where I interview Shawnee Do, another creator, we can't be in the same room because we're on the opposite side of the planet. So I would need to upload his recording and mine separately, which just doesn't work on podcast editor. This tool is much better for content when you're sat in the same room, in the same shot, right next to each other. The other issue is you can't be too far away from each other because you can't reposition the clip. They're just in position. So if you move around a lot and you're trying to reframe vertically, well, you'll move out of frame. The second thing is I would love some more audio control. Going back to the first point, if I add a second video to an edit, then I want to be able to click it and mute the audio coming from that video or at least lower the volume on it. If I wanted to show my funny gaming Twitch clips over the top of these streaming tips, then those clips would play their audio as well, which would drown out my main audio. Third, I want far more options for my subtitles, text and animations. Right now it's a lot of fades, but I would love it if my text could pop on or drop on or slide on, or maybe just have drop shadows instead of the large boxes. Not a mandatory tool, but more customization is always better. And finally, I would like the ability to polish some of the cuts. This isn't an issue with podcast editor. It's actually a text-based editor's issue. Sometimes they're a bit harsh on the cuts. I'd like to be able to add a feather or a breath so that if the end or start of a word gets cut off, I can ease the cut a bit to be cleaner. Oh, speaking of polishing cuts, imagine if there was a setting that you could click where the cuts rather than just jump cutting would be cutting from a close up to a medium, to a close up, to a medium, to a close up, to a medium. I just feel like that would flow better. But look, if you are a new creator who doesn't know how to edit yet and you're really struggling and want to start getting content out while you practice and learn, or if you're a creator who does video essays, podcasts, or you stream a lot and focus on just chatting and you want to quickly edit and upload content from them, well, you should check out Podcast Editor. I'm honestly really impressed and I have linked it in the description and the top comment for you. And if you want to learn about five new and free tools that Twitch just announced, click this video right here.